let's move on to the typical and hectic day of the planner. So, you are the planner of a manufacturing company, you go to the office on Monday morning, and there you have a heart attack. One machine broke down, you have an important material shortage, a customer just changed his order, and a new order came in. With Planner 1, solving those issues will take you only a couple clicks. Let's see, case per case, how to react quickly to these imperatives. Case number one, and a typical one, the machine breakdown. These situations are terrible for a planner because they require fast reactivity and high adaptation. How will we deal with this into Planner 1? First, I click on the resource which has broken down. Second, I go to the Close button on my Action tab. And finally, I can enter the date until when my resource will be unavailable. In exception name, I can write the reason why my machine has broken down, for example, maintenance. Planner 1 automatically recalculates the planned operations on this particular machine. When I highlight a work order, I can see that all my operations within the same work order are considered as a block and that Planner 1 has respected all the links between each operations. In addition, you can open the panel Indicators and Details so you can access key performance indicators. Notice that out of 29 work orders, around 72% are on time. Now, my planner has two solutions. He can manually drag and drop an operation on a different machine, and again, notice how every link between operations are perfectly respected. Number two, he can click on the Optimization tab, and this button will schedule all operations on the available machine centers in order to minimize setup times, maximize productivity, and of course respect delays. This algorithm comes from Ortem's 25 years of experience in this field. Pursuant to this recalculation, look, in our indicator and panel details, 100% of work order will be produced on time. We have just seen how to deal with machine breakdown, so now we will focus on our second issue of the day, material shortage. Brian Walton has detected a material shortage on his own work center. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this situation. Given his NAV authorization, let's say that Brian has access to this particular work center card. We can navigate directly to this work center card by using Plan 1 navigation links. As you can see, I can quickly navigate from my Planner 1 to my nav. Right here, I am in the center card number 100, and as you can see, we've got Planner 1 integrated views in nav right here. So one specific material is missing, and since Brian only has collaborative status, the two others being the viewer and the planner, he can decide to put a marker on this specific material to notify the planner that this particular part is missing. The planner is now going to fix the operation depending on the arrival date of the missing parts. Brian can now see that the operation will not start until December 21st. Now that we have seen how to manually deal with the material shortage, we will now see how Planner 1 can automatically move operations depending on the material fix date. As we can see here, we've got a bright green visual marker. This means that this operation cannot start until this date right here. The reason why this marker is here is because as our customer, you have provided us with the material fix date. This fix date has been typed in a specific field in Planner 1, which is in NAV on the production order routine line, right here. Now, let's move on to the problem number three. Now, let's deal with customer order modification. As soon as your planner has dealt with the second problem of the day, here comes Decathlon and a request for 50 additional parts to one of their order. Great, and you can't even find the work order number. No worries, you just have to scroll to the fast search and type in your customer's name directly in the search field. Planner 1 will automatically list all the work orders for this specific customer. All you have to do is click on the concerned order and you will have a clear view of your work order in the resource GAN chart. Another way would be to open the work order GAN chart and to apply an advanced filter on your work order. Notice that you can add as many filters as you like. So now that we have found the correspondent work order, let's modify it. We can access the work order directly by clicking in Planner 1 navigation link, and now we can add the 50 additional pieces. 
So here we go on addition on the top left corner. I change the quantity to 120 and here again 120. And as you can see, Planner 1 is going to integrate my views and my changes and take them into account and my new delivery date will be shown right here. The last issue our planner is going to solve today is the new urgent order. We go into our nav and we create a new work order in the execution menu. Then we are going to create a firm planned production order. I click on new. I enter the work order number. Choose the item. I type in a quantity. And I select my customer due date. Once more here, the item quantity and I refresh my production order. Now let's go back to my resource Gantt chart. As you can see here, my new work order has appeared in real time on my standby machine. Standby machine gather all the operations waiting to be scheduled. In order to easily spot my work order once integrated in my planning, I am going to highlight it. You do not wish to reschedule your current weekly plan, so you will freeze the scheduling period during, say, seven days. And then I click on the Schedule button. Notice that now everything is totally integrated into your planning. We are now in position to give our customer an accurate and feasible delivery date. OK, so let's wrap up. Today, thanks to Plano 1 Production Scheduler, we have quickly solved the machine breakdown, we have fixed a material shortage, we have changed an order, and we have added a new urgent one. How easy was that, right? Thanks to Plano 1 Production Scheduler, we have been reactive and efficient, but this component goes further. Indeed, it enables you to analyze your schedule in order to solve long-term issues. It is possible in the load chart to analyze the loads in percentage or the loads in quantity on each work center. If you wish to have more details, we can also analyze it depending on each machine center. Yes, we have the same operating system as Excel pivot tables. We can add subtotals and grand totals, and as you can see, it's that easy to identify my bottlenecks. Now, we can directly export our data and share them with our other collaborators. The last screen is a resource sequence screen. It can be used directly by each production workshop in order to know their production planning. Furthermore, should they be a problem in the machine center, the planner will be able to easily modify the sequence or the operation order by doing a simple drag and drop. Directly and in real time, this modification will show up in any other screen. OK, so I believe we've covered it all. Uh, thank you to all of you for taking the time to discover our component production scheduler by Planner 1. Let me remind you that we also have a demo for Resource Planner, our second component focused on project-based and service companies. Don't hesitate to reach out for more information or for a personalized demo by calling us at the following phone number or directly emailing us thanks to the Planner 1 community email address. I hope you enjoyed your demo. Have a great day.